Hi, I'm Benjamin Brown. It's a pleasure and honor to get on here and do this. You know, I do not want to take this for granted. And uh, it's a true gift. And most importantly, right, I want to recognize him. You know, it's so important because he is the one that is worthy of the praise. And most importantly, he's the one that is worthy to be famous. For what he did for all of us that accepted him as our Lord and Savior. It's so powerful, right? Nothing we did to deserve it. It's his mercy. It's his grace. Ah, oh, so beautiful. But I pray these videos are encouraging you, strengthening you. And if they are, please share and like. Because it is not about Benjamin Brown. It's all about Jesus. He's the one that is worthy and the one that deserves the praise. He's the one that is worthy to be seeked. And he's the one that I'm so grateful for. And I want to recognize him and give him all the glory. Okay. But anyway, let's open up in prayer. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, I come to you once again. And this is so important, Lord. Yes, yeah, so important. You know, these are your people, your sons and daughters. I come to you. And as I come to you, Lord, I want to recognize you for what you're doing for me. But most importantly, that as we do the walking, you do the preaching, the teaching, and the talking. Because it's not about me, Lord. It's about you. Let them hear from you. I give you all the glory and praise in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. But anyway, very good message today. We're in John 14 still, and today we are going to be doing verses 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay? So powerful. So powerful. And I love it. You know, this this is like one of my favorite favorite parts, you know, of John. I just love this part. And uh, well, I love his whole book because it's truly about living, okay? It's this true, true, true life, how to live. And the whole book is written about Jesus. Amen. But anyway, it's so powerful. Who does Jesus look like? Oh, mm. who does Jesus look like? Oh, I love it. So powerful. So if you ever ask yourself that question, what does Jesus look like? What Who would he look like if I seen him face to face? And one day he's coming down here to sit on his throne and we will get to see him. But what does Jesus look like? So anyway, let's start with verse seven. You know, I love it. You know, I, I love it so much. I know who Jesus looks like, but I want you to see it when we get to it, okay? So powerful. And anyway, um, I pray these are encouraging you and strengthening you, okay? That's truly what it's about. And if you're a believer, amen. You know, we're brothers and sisters in Christ. And uh, if you don't know him, I pray that he is opening your eyes and ears and softening that heart. So you can come to get to know him. And he's truly looking for people that are hungry. And he's spread in this world like never seen before. And he wants people to seek him in his word. So I'm going to say, okay, if you do know him, give him some more time, okay? Truly dig in his word. And if either way, even if you do know him and you haven't dug in the Bible for a while, you know, he'll meet you there. Start in the book of John where we're at in, in, in the very first chapter of John. It's so powerful, okay? And if you're just beginning, it's okay. Start in the book of John, okay? So powerful. But anyway, let's read verse 7. If you really know me, you will know my father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Wow. Jesus said that. If you really know me, then you know the Father. Yeah. And if you've seen 
me, right? You see in Jesus, you see him. Powerful. Hmm. Listen what Philip says to him. Next verse 8. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Hmm. Show us the Father. Apparently, he didn't catch that first verse. Yeah. But listen what Jesus says. So powerful, okay? I love this part. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Hmm. How can you say, Show us the Father? Philip was like, Can, can you show us the Father? Hmm. Love it. Let's read the next verse. Verse 10. Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Wow. That's why Jesus came here, right? To square everything up, to make everything right. That's why he came here, to make it all right. Because the devil, yeah, the devil was darkness, right? He still is. But Jesus is the light, the life of the world. When you accept him as your Lord and Savior, that's when you get to come to true life, to get to see him and be with him forever after this life. That's what the enemy don't want you to do. He wants you to stay here and only think your life is this little bit of time here. So powerful, okay? Nothing we did to deserve it. It's about his grace and love. But anyway, back up here, okay? Show us the Father. So when you're seeing Jesus in the flesh, guess who you're looking at? Amen. He looks like his father, and his father looks like him. So powerful. That's why Jesus said, if you go back up to verse 7, this is powerful. If you really know me, you will know my father as well from now on. You do know him and have seen him. Yeah. Because if you've seen Jesus, you see him. And if we go to verse 9, Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me, right? That's what he's telling Philip, has seen the Father. It's beautiful. If you see Jesus, you're going to get the same image. It's it, it's it. They're, they're created in the same image. It's so powerful. That's why Jesus has all authority here. In Matthew uh, 18, um, no, at Matthew 28, 18. Yeah, Matthew 28, 18. Um, so beautiful. But let's read the last one, verse 11. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. It's so powerful when Jesus said, I am doing the works, right? Not of what I want to do. And that, it, living down here, it's so easy, right? To, we, we live in the flesh and in we want to do, right, whatever we want, right? It's so easy. But Jesus, when he came, he laid all that aside. He laid his flesh down, and that's why the enemy had no control over him. Because he laid his life down. He sacrificed his life so we can live through him. Mercy and grace and love. 
And Jesus came down here, like I said, to make things right, to make that pathway to his Father. So powerful, so much mercy, grace, and love. And I keep saying that, right? His only begotten Son, because I have a Son. And uh, to really, truly, you know, to give up a son for just one person or give up your life for one person. But Jesus like, no, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to go on that cross for every single soul, every person, my people that chooses me as their Lord and Savior. What he did back over 2,000 years ago, still working today because he is the way. Yeah, it's so beautiful, so powerful, so much love, mercy, grace. Nothing we do here to deserve it. It's just because he loves us that much to make that way so we can truly come home home the fact of the matter is they made everything right he made you he made me he made every single person whether the people down here want to see that it's not for me to decide he's only one that can open up eyes and ears and soften the heart so you can see that's his job and i pray you know that if you don't know him as your lord and savior that you accept him but most importantly even if you do know him and these videos encourage you strengthen you amen we're brothers and sisters and that's what's so important right where one or two gathered or more in my name, we're having church. Amen. You know, I just love digging into his word. And uh, he is truly looking for the people that are hungry for him. And like I said, you know, give him some time. Seek him in his word. You know, this is one way to strengthen that spirit in you. Because once you accept him as your Lord and Savior, once you accept him, you have the Holy Spirit. And you can grow that spirit by, you know, plugging into his Bible, reading it daily, plugging into a video like this, uh, finding the local church body and uh, making sure, you know, that they're, they're teaching that Christ died on the cross for all of our sins. Okay. And uh, that they're teaching actually the word. And that's so important. Uh, so important. I love him so much. And that's why I can say he loves you. He is for you. He's not against you. And it's so powerful. Okay. And when I, I mean, I don't know. When I first saw this and he like opened my eyes up and it just hit me hard. And when, when uh, Philip asked him, uh, sh show us the father. And uh, he's like, uh, don't you get it, Philip? You've been with me how long? When you're looking at me, bud, you're looking at the Father. Me and him are the same. It's so powerful. Three in one, right? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our Holy Ghost. It's so powerful. And it's truly beautiful because he is sweeping this world like never seen before. He is spreading his word and the Spirit and opening eyes and ears like never seen before. But anyway, if you know him, amen, brother and sister in Christ. And uh, please, if you know him and you like these videos, share and like because it's about getting his word out. OK, it's not about Benjamin. It's not. I truly want to honor him. It's all about Jesus. And if you don't know him and you're interested in accepting him and uh, or, you know, you, you, you're, you know, on the fence. And uh, I could tell you if that voice is in your head, don't listen to that man. Uh, I could tell you who that is. For the fact of the matter, he made everybody here. 
And if he's working on you, you know you're on that fence or whatever. But keep plugging in. Keep listening. And uh, dig in his word. And I do use, well, I, I, I do have a Bible now. Uh, well, I do have more than one. But uh, uh, New King James. And uh, I do like the NLT, NIV, uh, ESV. The, the reading in there is uh, more easier to understand. But I do like the New King James because when you go to the Lord's Prayer, the very last line, uh, so powerful, and it's not in the other three Bibles. And it's, uh, you know, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil ones. From the evil one. Sorry. From the evil one. But this is the part. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory mm, forever. Amen. And that's what's in the New King James, uh, that very last part. And uh, I just love that. I. I to me, that's so powerful and important, okay? Uh, but anyway, so powerful. So if you don't know what the Father, you know, what the Father looks like and you don't know what Jesus looks like, well, when you see Jesus, you're going to be looking at the Father and vice versa. If you were able to see the Father, you'll be looking at Jesus. It's so beautiful. And I pray these videos are strengthening you and encouraging you. And, uh, you know, I don't get the glory for... For who I am, I make sure he gets all the glory and praise. And I keep saying that. I do not take this for granted. Because getting on here, it's truly about his people. Yeah. We were created in his image. And, you know, and uh, I don't want my flesh to do the preaching, the teaching, and the talking. It's, it's, I want him. And because uh, what... We can't do nothing good in our own flesh. And uh, that's not what I want. I want to make sure that people see him and uh, that, that he does to talk. And, and uh, he's the only one who can open up eyes and ears. And uh, it's a true honor to get to do this. And I pray these are encouraging you. But anyway, if that's you and you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior, it's so easy. And, uh, you know, it, it's so much grace and love. The bottom line is... You realize now that he went to that cross and you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Okay. And uh, nothing we did to deserve it. It's just that he loves us so much. It's mercy, grace. Yeah. But anyway, if that's you, all you have to do is say, Jesus, I realize now what you've done for me. I realize it that you took that beating and you went on that cross and you carried it for me because you love me. And I'm coming to you. And now since I see that, I'm coming to you and I want you to take all of my sins that I did here since I've been here. And I want to give them to you in exchange. I want to accept you as my Lord and Savior because I see what you did. And, you know, not only that, you know, he's a gentleman. That's why you got to ask. And uh, not only that, you know, ask him, you know. Also, I want to understand more of your wisdom. Help me, right, understand your word more. And, uh, you know, because that's so important that we ask, right? Whatever you struggle with, whatever that may be, you ask. And it's so powerful. It's nothing we did to deserve. It's just that he loves us that much. But anyway, if that's you, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I come to you and I, you know, I come to realize and I'm so thankful. And I realize now that you went to that cross for me. You carried it. You took that beating and you went on it. And I come to you and I'm asking you to forgive me of all of my sins that I've done since I've been here and return Jesus I give you my sins and then you give me yourself and I accept you as my Lord and Savior 
And Jesus, please help me understand you more. Send me your spirit so I can understand you more and read your book. And you keep growing me. And I want to draw closer to you. Because that's so beautiful what you did for me. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. You know, it's so powerful. You know, it's nothing we did to, 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 to deserve it. But he's such a gentleman. And the enemy just comes in and, uh, well, he's the one that says, you're not good enough. <laughs> you can't do that. You're not good enough to hit the live button. You're not good enough to hit the record button. Matter of fact, hmm, you're not good enough to do a video. Oh, but because I cherish him and I love him, he's right. Benjamin isn't good enough. But when I accept him as my Lord and Savior, he sent me his spirit. And because I accept him as my Lord and Savior and I'm growing in him and I'm asking for more strength, more wisdom, more understanding. He's the one that gives me the strength. And most importantly, I want the world to see. Hmm. As Pilate said to him before they put him on the cross. What is truth? Hmm. What is truth? Truth of the matter. Jesus loves us. And he died for me. And he died for every single soul that accepts him as their Lord and Savior. And I want the people, his people, truly to hear him and come to know the truth. That he carried that cross for every single soul that is lost. And he is sitting on the right hand side of his father. And that's why this book is living. Because he's living. And that's why everything in the book comes about Jesus. So powerful. And uh, it's a whole story about him and everything in here is coming. He will come back to sit on his throne, King David's throne. He is going to return. And right now we live in a time about repentance and asking for forgiveness. And we do fall short, you know. But what he wants is when we fall short to come to him and ask for help. Say, Jesus, please help me fight this, whatever that may be. Okay, whatever that is, you know, whatever you're struggling with, you know, um, I remember one of the things like, oh, Jesus, you know, I, I, I don't like cursing, but also it's the Holy Spirit in you that convicts you. Um, I remember, you know, that that was a kind of offended me. That's how it kind of started. You know, I was like, oh, I don't, you know, like that. I just don't like cursing. And uh, so I started asking. And over time, you know, I kept asking, praying and I kept seeing I was getting stronger and stronger. And that's with anything. It takes time, you know. Enemy starts working on you soon as you're born, right? Soon as you're able to start uh, probably thinking uh, maybe, you know, five years old possibly, you know, soon as you can start come immediately because he doesn't want you to know your true identity. And if you go to Genesis 1, it's so powerful. Um, we're created in our image. Uh, I love Genesis 1 and 2 and 3. Uh, three ver verse one immediately says the serpent deceived Adam and Eve and uh, you know the forbidden fruit that they weren't supposed to eat right but they did uh, they had a choice right and they were told not to but we live in a world today we have choices and uh, they chose to God told them not to right but the enemy got them, right? And uh, they did. So that's when sin started. So God sent his only begotten son down here to truly make things right, right? To give us a choice. What are you going to choose? Eternal life with me or whatever you get down there, that short life. And it's his job to open up eyes and ears. It's truly a gift and honor. And I love him to death and uh, keep seeking him, keep digging into him. 
find ways to look for them, okay? Keep maybe listening to these videos, plug it in, subscribing, uh, you know. If you like them, please share and like. It's so important so we can get its word out. But most of all, you know, let's close in prayer. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, I keep saying it's not about Benjamin Brown, Lord. I, in this flesh, I don't want that. I do not want to speak in my own words. As you would say in Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. I don't want that. I want you to speak to your people, your sons and daughters. I lay my life down as you laid yours down, Jesus, so you can do the talking because that's what's important. It's about you, Jesus. You're the one that's worthy to be famous. You're the one that is worthy to be seen for what you did for us. And that's why you loved us so much. You gave your life up so we can come to you, accept you, and live our life through you. So beautiful. I give you all the glory and praise for who I am. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. But anyway, I pray they're encouraging you and strengthening you. And uh, it's a true pleasure to do this. But anyway, it's time for me to go. And uh, I end this all the time. Uh, be strong. Yeah. Anyway, check out Joshua 1. Be strong and courageous. Yeah. And because of him, that's why I'm able to hit record, go live, and I do what I do. It's He gets all the glory. Be strong and courageous. I love it. So you be strong. Be strong. Be strong.